Hello everyone, my name is Winga. Hope you guys are doing well. The clip you saw is my attempt in capturing stop motion. What do you guys think? For all the shots, I only use the newly released Insta360 Flow, the AI tracking smartphone stabilizer. Now, let's talk about the creative process of the shots. I've captured a lot of videos using the first person perspective and wanted a challenge. So I challenged myself to capture a third person stop motion video. To do this, I used the Insta360 Flow and my phone and took thousands of photos. I put it all together and made this third person stop motion video. We used the camera grid to keep the frame in line and snapped a photo with each step. While shooting, we locked flow to keep it locked in one direction. The photographer then tries to keep the height of the lens consistent. We also kept the actor's head in the middle of the screen. For the next shot, in order to make the shooting trajectory as circular as possible, we tied a rope between our actor and flow. Using the actor as the center point, we were able to draw a very smooth circular trajectory. This rope was then removed for each photo in the editing stage. To capture lateral movement, we had to ensure that the movement of the lens is consistent with the movement range of the actor. The actor's body can't have any obvious inclination, otherwise the actor and the background will seem to move at different speeds. This either causes the actor to shake or the background to shake in post. After shooting, we have a bunch of images. By tracking the actor's head and feet, we were able to track the actor's position and keep him fixed on screen. This resulted in the shots being much smoother. Here are some of the problems to look out for. The movement of the actor may not be smooth, or his posture might be slightly crooked. So each frame needs to be checked and movements of the actor adjusted. When shooting, try to choose an empty scene. If there are too many pedestrians, it may affect the continuity of the video. In post, all pedestrians need to be edited out. As you can see, it looks much better. We did not only use photos in this video. The zooming effect is actually a video. While the camera moves backwards, the camera zooms in on the subject. This creates a feeling of the shot gradually being compressed. Using Flow and the official Insta360 app, this effect can also be captured easily. Using the camera's ultra-wide and telephoto modes, and capturing these two shots separately, we can composite the two shots together and get this super-wide dolly zoom effect. So that was how I captured this video. Thank you so much for watching to the end and for your support. If you liked the video, remember like, comment, and subscribe.